Pro tip, if you're gonna record a video about how Facebook ads interests work, make sure the mic is plugged in. <laughs> Here we go again. Ah! I'm gonna show you how to use Facebook ads interest-based targeting. I'm gonna take you through my screen and whatnot, but I'm also gonna take you through some advanced examples and strategies such as layering when it comes to this targeting method. No matter how good your ads or videos are on Facebook, if you're targeting the wrong audience, you might as well just light your cash on fire if you like to burn money because then at least it'd be more entertaining. And to avoid burning any money at all, I'm just gonna show you how to target interests the best way and use things like layers. So the first thing before I show you my screen is actually get your buyer persona nailed down. And if you already have this, you're like, Lewis, I don't need to hear it, blah, blah, blah. I'll put a timestamp so you can skip ahead. But in short, you basically want to have a representation of who your ideal customer is and supple that with some market research, some existing data on your customers. I believe I heard this definition from Neil Patel. We've been great friends for years. Just kidding, he doesn't know I exist. But that's essentially what you're trying to do. And to do this, it's actually really easy. You need to answer three simple questions. What are their demographics? What does their day-to-day -day look like? And what kind of problems do they have during their day that your product or solution could solve? Congrats, you have a basic buyer persona now. One thing to note about interest-based targeting is that it's expensive. It's one of the most basic ways to target people on Facebook ads. And usually this is the one you do before you migrate to lookalike audiences or you graduate to lookalike audiences. So once you have a thousand purchases or once you have a thousand registrations um, that you got using your interest-based targeting, now you can use lookalike audiences, which would be much cheaper and, and better for scaling. So now that that's out of the way, let's jump to my screen and I'm gonna walk you through. So first things first, obviously you wanna build a campaign. And when you build your campaign, when it comes to the ad set level, that's when you can your targeting. So I'm gonna go ahead and click create and that opens up the campaign builder. And then of course you have essentially build your campaign out. So I'm just gonna put a bunch of random stuff. I just, you know, say I want some, uh, want some, want some conversions. So now we can get into the actual targeting. And what I'm gonna do here is just scroll down. Um, you choose whatever campaign uh, optimization metric you wanna optimize for. Obviously I'm going for booked calls here. You don't have to do that. And this is where we create the audience. Now here's where it really helps to know your customer's interests. If you don't know your customer's interests, just stay tuned to this video. I'm actually gonna show you a way to figure them out. But using this tool right here, we're gonna to need to identify who would be likely to opt in by our product and so on. So for me, if I'm selling a course, for example, of people who wanna learn how to become a chef, um, I'm gonna to need to target them appropriately. So I'm probably gonna say, you know, their age range is, I don't know, probably somewhere in 20 to 45. Um, and again, I'm just going off the cuff here, just making things up. Uh, and I'm going to say their gender. I'll do a 50-50 split and then see who clicks more. But for one audience, I'm going to have uh, men. The second audience, we're going to have women. And I'm just going to run the budgets evenly. Um, and then I'm going to do detailed target expansion. I like to turn this off um, because it's not always that good. Yeah, I like to just start really simple and know who exactly what I'm targeting. And here is the interest-based targeting. So if I'm looking for someone who wants to become a chef, I would probably type in some people they might follow, like Gordon Ramsay. Please don't tell Gordon I spelled his name wrong. Add that as an interest. So now this is the interest-based targeting. So someone that is interested in pages that have something related to Gordon Ramsay. Maybe they really like the show Top Chef. Maybe they really like the TV show Chopped and I had to do a little research. So maybe they're the sous chef and they want to become the head chef, right? So they're not really there yet. They're still learning to become a chef. So maybe they'd be good for my, my, my chef course. I think that's what I was selling, I forgot. Great, now I have an audience of 4.5 million people. I could actually just bring that down a little bit and just test it out around the million mark is pretty good to start with. And then test out these individual interests um, separately so i'm actually going to take so now what you can do also is exclude specific interests you know that if they like these things they're definitely not going to be a good fit i like to keep these kind of you know vague and, and i don't like to exclude every single thing that isn't you know related to this topic because google uh, because facebook will just target these people for me anyways so i don't have to worry about excluding the other 99 percent of things that aren't sous chef or top chef but for example if they're already a chef and i want to sell them the course their head chef then i'm just going to exclude these people from my target so this would be a good example well not a good but this would be a example of what one interest-based targeting audience would look like you have your your demographics here um, where you want to target them and then in the detailed targeting section is where you start putting the additional interest and exclusions to as well so this is a really basic example of how this platform works and this specific feature and while i'm here there's actually a layer deep where you can go when it comes to interest targeting. And before I go into it, there's also another option uh, which is called narrowing your audience. So this is an and option. So they must like these and they also maybe need to be 
um, Facebook page owners or something like that. Something else to make make them think maybe it's a business owners. So Facebook page admins is good, business page admins, you know, maybe they have to narrow it down a little bit and that drops our uh, audience size here. So to get it back up, we can just go ahead and put some of those um, earlier audiences in here to increase our audience size. Also, I really like using the suggestions drop down here as well. Once you've entered in a few, Facebook will throw up some, some cool suggestions. So MasterChef, uh, maybe cooking channel. I want to keep it simple from now. I'm just going to say if their job title is, includes cooking chef, kitchen chef, and they are not head chefs, maybe they want to become next level, so on and so forth. The next thing you can actually do though is import a lookalike audience. And this is the layering aspect. This is how to do layering. So you can import your lookalike audience here, your 1%, your 2%, so on and so forth of someone who's also relevant. These could be lookalikes of previous customers. These could be lookalikes of people who watch your video 75%. I actually have another video where I talk about lookalike audiences and how to best use them and some strategies. And I'll put that link in the description. So, um, but going back to here, once you have your quality lookalike audiences, you can actually put them in here and then layer them down. I usually turn off my, my demographic targeting um, just, just to leave it more open. And then turn on, they must also like or must also have these attributes. Because what it does, it actually takes your wide net of your lookalike audience and makes it a little bit smaller, a little bit more refined. So you have a higher shot of hitting a person that's more likely to purchase from you. Versus just doing interest-based targeting uh, where it's still kind of all over the place, at least with lookalike, they say that it have to be in this audience and they must also like this page, you're refining more and more. And again, I usually turn off detailed target expansion and I just like to test out the audience without it. Um, if I'm getting results, I'll turn on and test that out too as well. But that's how you do audience targeting. You can go ahead and launch it. I hope you got some value in this video and you understand how to find more detailed interest targeting options, especially with layering. And if you don't know your customer's persona's interest on Facebook, you can actually use this tool right here to find out more about that. If you have any questions at all, please leave a comment. But before you go, hit the subscribe button, click the bell and leave a like. I really appreciate it. It tells the algorithm that this content is awesome. So thanks so much for watching. Bye.